killer walks uh, directly to the pharmacy counter. He places the backpack on the counter with his right hand in the backpack, most likely holding the 45 caliber weapon, the murder weapon. We then see the killer start to speak to Mr. Ferguson. Uh, they are only two or three feet away from each other, Mr. Ferguson obviously being on one side of the counter, the killer on the other side of the counter. He then interrupts, the killer then interrupts himself, and he asks Miss Mejia, who is standing alongside, if he could speak in private to the pharmacist. Miss Mejia obliges. She walks just a few feet into a small alcove uh, where uh, pharmaceutical drugs and other supplies are kept. We then see the killer continue his conversation. Um, they talk, he and the pharmacist talk about the interaction of one medication over the other. And during this conversation, very, very normal conversation between two individuals, it's very clear on the video that you see the backpack start to rise. In my view, he had most likely been holding the weapon on its side, and he's moving it up as he prepares to fire. As they speak, Mr. Ferguson and the killer, without any demand whatsoever for drugs or for money, he shoots Mr. Ferguson in the abdomen through the backpack. We see Mr. Ferguson grab his stomach and he falls backwards to the floor lying on his back. Clearly, and the video clearly shows that he is still moving and making some audible sounds. The killer then lifts a flip top portion of the counter top. He now has the gun out. He walks into the small storage alcove where the helpless, defenseless Jennifer Mejia was, who was trapped in that alcove. And in a second or two, we hear two loud shots. She's heard screaming. The killer has shot her twice, killing her. He then, we then see him walk back out of the alcove. He looks at Mr. Ferguson, who's lying on his back, as I said before, still moving, and he walks over to him, and at point-blank range, he shoots him twice in the face, killing him. He, it appears to us that he sees someone approaching the pharmacy. Um, he hurries to the front of the pharmacy by the door, and hides. Mr. Sheffield walks into the pharmacy, and we next see the killer coming directly behind Mr. Sheffield and shooting him in the back of the head. He then walks right over Mr. Sheffield and behind the counter and begins stuffing drugs into his backpack. He's again distracted. Apparently, he sees somebody else coming to the store. He runs to the front door. He hides between the aisles, and we see Miss uh, Jamie Tessetta as she walks in to the store towards the pharmacy counter. As he did with Mr. Sheffield, the killer shoots her in the back of the head, and she falls. The police officers went about looking for other video cameras that might disclose anything about this crime. Uh, they have come across a video taken about 30 to 40 minutes after the last killing, uh, and they see Laffer and his wife, Melinda Brady, at a local convenience store purchasing a beverage as if nothing had ever happened.